Thank Mr. you. Mr. Pascrell is recognized. Uh, despite our Democrats' opposition to Part D 10 years ago, uh, we committed to making the best of the program. And because of all the changes that have occurred in Part D prescription program, 90 percent of seniors right now are satisfied. And why are they satisfied? Well, in my district, before that vote, I made seniors know that I was going to vote no and opposed, and I told them the two reasons. The gap, the donut hole, when you're paying for premiums, you're not getting any benefits. That was horrendous. And number two, no one was an outside source was not sitting down and, and being a party to negotiate the prices of prescription drugs. So it lost. We lost the policy fight. And what did we do? We went back to our districts and we told our seniors, although we voted no, we're, we personally believe and will work with the Bush administration to make it work. That's what we did. And how many of you stood up to do that? None. Zero. Zero. Let's talk. Let's not water the wine here. Let's say it like it is. You refuse to expand many of these governors Medicaid. They refuse to set up state marketplaces to and leaving millions of dollars in outreach on the table and education funding. And what happens? Well, to those I say this. And to you, I say this, who I deeply respect, here and off the floor of the committee and off the floor of the House. What are you going to do about the approximately 17 million children with pre-existing conditions who can no longer be denied health insurance coverage? You want to go back? You want to say you are no longer covered any longer? You're going to tell the parents of those kids? Which one of you is going to stand up and tell the parents of those children the game is over. Sorry. That was just a phase. Well, we will the gentleman on. yield? Yes, I will. Uh, I would just tell you that you? right here. Oh. <laughs> you ask a question, I'm going to answer it. There are, it's a false choice to say it's Obamacare or nothing. There are numerous proposals, including the one that I'm a co-sponsor of. I yield back. It, it I, deals let me take with back the time, sir. Conditions. Let, 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 let me take the time back. Are you serious, what you just said? Well, the Are you really serious after what we have gone through, after what we've gone through in the last three and a half years? Have you, you can sit there and say that you had a legitimate alternative after these years. We've gone through 44 votes, 48 votes now, of you trying to dismantle this well, legislation. You call that cooperation? I don't. Well, the gentleman I don't yield. call that cooperation. You're asking questions. Right. No, I'm the gentleman's yield. time has expired. It's redundant. Do Dr. Price. I've heard it for four years. Dr. Price is recognized. Thank you, Mr.